Hi, welcome back to Earth, where we have so much space junk that they are now falling down, hitting the planes and hitting pilots. Yep, that happened two days ago. It is pretty obvious that plane is hit by something from the exterior, and at 36,000 feet altitude, there is no other explanation for what happened. So most likely the scenario is space debris falling down from the sky, hitting the plane. So how many space junk we have in the Earth orbit exactly? Our estimates say we have around 130 million small space debris. They are smaller than one centimeter, and that is too small to track. While they are still dangerous they are mostly causing cumulative erosion for our satellites between 1 and 10 centimeter size we have estimated 1 million small space debris they can puncture spacecraft and they are also not trackable and bigger than 10 centimeter size we can track them we have 36,500 pieces of space debris that are tracked currently these can be as big as rocket parts and dead satellites so how much trouble are we in exactly well we have around 12,000 satellites in the low earth orbit right now and 8,000 of them are spacex satellites from their shared data from first six months of this year they made 145,000 collision avoidance maneuvers that is four maneuvers per month per satellite in those maneuvers they have to use the propellants which are limited in the satellites and they have to change the current trajectory of the satellite to an unplanned trajectory which sometimes affects other satellites too because your new trajectory might be in a collision path with another satellite in total the collision avoidance maneuvers we are doing each year are rising and in a decade it is expected us to have seven times more satellites in our low earth orbit spacex made a clever choice to track the orbits and the debris and the maneuvers automatically so less human interaction is needed with them but most other satellites like nasa or government satellites are manually maneuvered from the ground even if your system allows to an automatic switch this still interrupts your missions and objectives because you might want to be in a specific position or in a specific altitude maybe because of a ground observation you might want to be in that planned path but our crowded space is creating problems for that stable orbit you want in a recent study they chose 10 maneuvers per month is a threshold for having a satellite operation that is too complicated to be beneficial in 2019 0.2 percent of the satellites were having more than 10 maneuvers per month in 2025 1.4 percent of the satellites are having more than 10 maneuvers per month so both the satellite counts are rising and the satellites that are doing too complicated maneuvers are rising too even with all of the tracking that we are doing we have a 10 percent chance of a collision happening in the next year you might say one collision is not going to do nothing but we have a thing called kessler syndrome which a single collision can start a snowball effect of all of those satellites from all of those small debris one after another colliding with each other and destroying each other and leaving us no space in our orbit to put another satellite yes our orbits have capacities because we can only put so many things in a secure way so are we doing something to stop this yes there are some efforts but we haven't done anything big yet we have space rules to prevent more debris happening and we have some ideas from some startups and some governments but nothing big yet we are mostly waiting for space junk to fall down to earth by themselves so what have we learned today well we don't just have garbage in the oceans we also have garbage in the space it is only a matter of time before the space alien turtles are in danger and not just them the pilot turtles they are also in danger too so what do you think about this tell me your thoughts in the comments down below if you have more interesting information on this topic share us what you know knowledge increases with sharing that's a thing they say in turkey i don't know if they say where you live at if you like the video please subscribe and thank you for listening